So the conventional therapies of cancer are divided into three areas, uh, surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. And those are the three legs of the stool for um, uh, standard treatments of uh, most cancers. Uh, they have, uh, each of them have their advantages and disadvantages. Um, chemotherapy, of course, is, has the reputation for being not only able to kill the cancer, but also having severe side effects because of the non-specificity of the agents used. And to some extent, radiation also um, has the same problem, that the radiation kills the cancers selectively, but also involves uh, other tissues as well. And surgery naturally has the, the impact on the body of, of a major surgical procedure. And uh, people can only tolerate so much surgery. Another approach is to make use of some of the targeted uh, therapies that are available in the form of monoclonal antibodies. So antibodies have the ability to bind to the surface of cells that uh, express certain antigens, and they can be very highly selective. Photoimmunotherapy was an idea launched by my colleague uh, Hisataka Kobayashi a number of years ago. Photoimmunotherapy can be viewed as a continuum of this kind of thinking in that uh, we use the antibody to get uh, high selectivity for cells, but then destroy it using uh, a photosensitizer whereby uh, near-infrared light is used to activate uh, a molecule that in turn uh, kills the cells very selectively. In the course of, uh, of the experiments, uh, Dr. Kobayashi tested a large number of antibodies, some clinically approved, others still under development, and found uh, almost universal success. But for translation purposes, uh, to get more rapidly into the clinic, we did focus on the anti-HER2 uh, trastuzumab and the anti-EGFR uh, panituvumab and cetuximab uh, antibodies. So one of uh, the first trials that we envision is in patients with head and neck cancers. Uh, we certainly foresee uh, practically any tumor that is close to uh, a surface. So, for instance, a skin cancer is an obvious application for a technique like this, but less obvious applications might be esophageal cancers or bowel cancers or bladder cancers, uh, where we can put a cystoscope or an endoscope near the tumor and shine light. And then extending beyond that, of course, the possibility of putting PIT at the end of a needle uh, enables one to consider doing it even in solid organs like the liver or pancreas or kidney. So the advantage is that the antibody conjugate will find the tumor for you and all you need to do is provide the light and the light will uh, kill the tumor. So I think uh, this will be a very uh, engaging area to watch over the, the next few years uh, as, as it's tried in, in more and more tumors.